everyone and welcome to this week's Hope Video Notices. I'm Chloe, I'm on the staff team and I've got three things to tell you about this week. First up, Winter Hardship Fund. Thank you so much to so many of you who have given so generous, generously to the Winter Hardship Fund over the last couple of months. We have got enough money to see us through the winter, so thank you for your kindness and your generosity. It's really making a difference to people who are applying. If you know anyone, if you yourself are struggling, please don't hesitate. If they live in our parish or are connected with our church in any way, do um, link them in with the website or speak to one of the staff team if you see them on a Sunday and we can help you navigate to help someone to apply. If you're thinking of someone who doesn't live in the parish or doesn't have a connection to us, in the first instance, this hardship fund is for those who are in our local community, but we will consider applications on a kind of merit person by person basis. So if there's someone you're really, really worried about, do speak to us and we can think about how we may be able to support them. So that's the Winter Hardship Fund. The second thing is just to remind you, as Matt mentioned last week, we will be returning to bread in communion during Lent. And um, so that's Sunday, the 26th of February. Go back and check out Matt's video notice from last week, which gives you a bit more info on why, but it's just a heads up for your diary. When you come in for Eucharist at the 11th, um, the 26th of February, there will be real live bread. And thirdly, on Thursday, this Thursday coming, it is Spears Celebration, and it will be here at St Mary Magdalene from 7 p.m. So do come and join us, celebrate the young people who are completing the Spear programme this time around. So that's the Winter Hardship Fund. A big thank you, and do think about anyone who may need the support of the Winter Hardship Fund. Bread for Communion from the 26th of February and the Spear Celebration this Thursday at 7pm here at St Mary Magdalene. That's everything from me this week. See you soon, everyone.